Well, a notorious problem got a lot of attention across the Bay Area today with the annual coastal cleanup, said to be the largest annual volunteer effort in California. KPX 5's Wilson Walker live in Alameda where he talked with some of those who spent their day picking up other people's trash. Hey, Wilson. Brian, I have a confession. As someone who was not born and raised in California, lived here for a little while, one thing I've never gotten over is the amount of garbage you see around the state. Just about anywhere you go, you look down and there's trash there. I know a lot of people are upset by this, and I think for a lot of people who showed up today, getting out there and picking up some of the trash was a little bit like therapy. Anywhere you go, you pull across on the side of the road and there's trash. And what's breaking my heart today is that there's just so much trash here right at the water's edge at this ecotone that then goes into uh, this beautiful estuary we have. If you've ever been infuriated by the amount of trash you see around California, this was the day to do something about it. The 37th annual Coastal Cleanup Day and thousands of volunteers descended on our region's shorelines, waterways, and estuaries trying to tackle a notorious problem that has only gotten worse with the pandemic. I found like graphers. They picked along just about every waterfront in the Bay Area, gathering up anything and everything that's been tossed aside. Uh, the whole glass bottle. Some of it was large, some of it kind of medium sized, but most of it was small and yes, a lot of it. Yeah, like mostly plastic. And when you think about how people used to behave whenever, uh, before we became a really disposable society, uh, they took their own water water bottle out with them. They they put food in, in a bag and brought it out with them. And now everything's been made so easy, but there's no cost assigned to the waste. For a lot of those who came out fighting the tidal wave of waste that we all see is a personal calling, even if the size of the challenge can feel overwhelming. I go from mine to just walk by trash and don't do anything about it. Then I get, kind of get something and I start picking up trash and then I'll go for years of picking, you know, so it kind of goes through ways where I care and try to do something and then, then I try to give up and then I go back to it. Around 10 pounds. 10 pounds. So the volunteers took what they could in the course of the day and while they all said the work was rewarding, it is hard not to think the mess is entirely preventable. A small change, a little tiny change with everyone of just putting the trash in the right place for those who have a trash can nearby or ex have access to that, that would go a long way. Just that simple, simple act. All right. These events were held all over the state, all over the Bay Area, more places than we could ever show you. And as one of the volunteers told me, Brian, you could kind of poke around for a little while and quickly realize that we could hold this event maybe once a month for a while and still have plenty of trash and plastic left to pick up. All righty, in Alameda, that is uh, Wilson Walker. Wilson, thank you.